Hello? Can you hear me now? Are we back in action? I don't know. I'm gonna wait a second and see if you guys can hear me. It looks like it should be working now, but I don't know. Oh, it looks like you can't hear the desktop audio either. Well, fuck that. Let's fix it. All right. Let's see. Okay, it should be fixed now. <laughs> Is it better now? Do we have sound? Are we good? Oh, it looks like the desktop audio. Oh no, not this again. Come on. Um, let's see. There we go. I think we have desktop audio now too. I hope so anyway. Anyways, I was rambling on and on before you guys could actually hear me because I don't pay enough attention <laughs> to whether the sound is working or not. But I'm so sorry for the delay. Thank you so much, the Sweet D, for the follow. And just as I hit start stream, Emmy, my puppy, started tapping her little feet, throwing a tantrum, and deciding that she needed to go out right that moment. So. I apologize for the delay, but she got, she went to the bathroom. She should be all good now. And I have a kitty who is demanding snuggles. I don't know if you can see her or not. She's right here. Oh, she's so cute. She's kind of hidden by the desk, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, so yes, uh, I was also saying Welcome Brave, you're already here. And we also have Snails in Space, welcome to the stream, very happy to have you. And we have three, or excuse me, two follows since the stream started. The Sweet D and either Fanta SE Online or Fantase Online, I'm not totally sure how to say it. But thank you so, so much for the follows. Um, we've also had a couple of others since I last streamed. Uh, we've got, wow, we've got quite a few. Uh, we've got, goodness, I usually like to read all of these, but there's quite a long list. Um, I'll try to go through it kind of quickly. We've got I Am Brooksy, Alria Gaming, Just Slaps, Petty Pops, A Moment with Alex, oh, that's cool, The Lord Frieza, Paradox 10, Underworld Reaper 2, Yo It's Munir, Mad Radlin, Shift D, Drabio, Snails in Space, Ashley Y, Bubaroo, Retro Effects, Doughy Cat, The Golden Doom, Atlas Pax, It's Shelby Louise, Turf Indiel, Kitten SSG, Any Two Will Do, Anime Freak 12X, Mr. Death Machine, Celebi, Jamo, Brooding Elm, Bernie Man, Kenta no Kokoro, Tight Demon Seed, Crazy Shay, Zerbear, Harley Quinn, Noble Rifleman, Jaspex, Nuance Chef, and GM Dads. Jeez, that was quite the list. All right, I apologize. But apparently I jumped up to 318 followers, which thank you all so, so much. I so, so appreciate it. And then on Twitter, apparently, I somehow have reached 654 followers, so you all are amazing. I'm very, very flattered that you think that I'm worth paying any attention to because I don't feel like I'm really <laughs> worth paying attention to, but thank you very much. I'm thinking about doing some kind of a giveaway, like, I don't know... I've seen some people set like subscriber or follower goals and I don't know if that's like annoying or if it's like encouraging if people like to be part of helping somebody reach their goal. So I'm thinking about it. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet, but I'm thinking I might do um, some kind of a goal for like either 800 like 500 maybe Twitch followers, maybe 800 or 1,000 Twitter followers, and maybe I'll do 
I don't know if I should say this, but maybe I'll do like a Disney karaoke Twitch Sings stream or a cosplay stream or maybe both in one and I'll do a giveaway of some kind. So let me know what you think about that or if you have any ideas or if you have any thoughts on that because yeah, I don't know, that sounds like something that would be kind of cool to do, but let me know. Snails in space, no worries. Thank you so much for the host. I really appreciate it. And thank you for stopping by. Brave, the hair coloring, yes. So I wish so badly that I dared to do it. I really do. I, it's a Snapchat filter, sadly, and I love it so, so much. But I've heard that dyeing your hair blue is something that you just can't come back from. And my hairdresser has always told me that people like try really hard to get strawberry blonde hair and that I should never dye my hair because I will never get the color back. So I'm like terrified of dyeing my hair, but I also really want to do it. So I don't know. I'm kind of a chicken, I guess. <laughs> All right. So last week, Jessica, listen to your hairdresser. See, see, I'm so much of a chicken with my hair too. Like, I just, I'm a huge chicken. I, I didn't even have anyone other than my mom cut my hair until I was in college. When I was five years old, I got a really terrible haircut. It was bad. Like, this hairdresser gave me a boy's bowl cut and I was mortified to go to school and I refused to have anyone cut my hair except for my mom after that, until I was in college. And the woman that I went to in college is still the woman who cuts my hair. Nobody else cuts it. So I'm a huge chicken when it comes to my hair. <laughs> Length is strength. I love it. I have always had super long hair. It's actually really short for me right now. My hair was down to my tailbone for like forever since that horrible haircut that I mentioned. And then in January... I had it chopped off to shoulder length. It needed it, but it felt so weird. Like I was going to throw my hair back and there wasn't as much hair there as there was before. So I was like throwing my neck out for nothing. It was ridiculous. But anyway, all right. So last week we did not have any Walking Dead. So I apologize for that. There was this whole kerfuffle with downloads and it not working and it was just ridiculousness. So we played Fall Guys instead. We had <coughs> Emmy, it's okay. We had Wine and Fall Guys instead of Wine and Walker Wednesday. Um, this week, we don't have any wine, but I do have 400 days downloaded. But the wine thing was pretty easy to remedy. I've got some hard cider instead, so it's all good. Your dog's not a Fall Guy fan. Apparently not. She is up in arms about something. Emmy says, hi back, Brave. Throg, hi! We're not working on a Fall Guys win today, but we've got some, we've got some 400 days to play. Say Skyrim, see how she reacts. Emmy, do you like Skyrim? <laughs> She wagged her tail and went to the other window, so. Skyrim seems okay. <laughs> I wonder, there must be someone across the street that she's checking out. I know, Brave, no wine. So, Walmart, apparently, Walmart is where I've been getting my wine. Apparently, they're not getting their shipments because the pandemic is still affecting them or something. So, they haven't had it for forever now. Like, I've had, I had a stockpile of the wine, which is why I've been having it the last couple weeks, but I haven't been able to get it. So, we've got some hard cider, which, one of the flavors is not so good, but this crisp apple is pretty tasty, so I'm not too upset about this crisp apple. No one has burnt down your Walmart yet. I was trying to get a Nintendo Switch, at the beginning of this year, like when the pandemic started. And I was going in like, or calling them like every weekend for like three months from February until like 
April or June to try to get a Nintendo Switch. And they didn't have it. And it was because of the pandemic. They weren't getting any shipments, whatever. So I finally ordered an, a Switch Lite, which I didn't actually really want. I ordered a Switch Lite online because it was the only thing that I could find. Nobody had like the actual Switches. And so I got the Switch Lite and I've been using that for a couple months. I got it so I could play Animal Crossing. And last weekend, our local Walmart has a Nintendo Switch in stock. What? Of course. Um, so yeah, does Walmart stock Nordmead? So I think that my Elder Scrolls cookbook has a recipe for Nordmead. If it doesn't, it's got a couple of drink recipes and I am so tempted to try them. I think next week I'm going to do a Skyrim stream and I'm debating if I want to do one of the drink recipes and have a themed drink along with playing some Skyrim. That sounds like fun to me. I think I'm also going to do a cooking video with some of my Skyrim or Elder Scrolls recipes because, I don't know, it sounds fun to me. <laughs> uh, replay, welcome to the stream. I think you're looking for followers, the command. There you go. Yeah, if you want to know the commands, you can do exclamation point commands to see. I'll just put it in chat right now. But you can see all of the commands that are there. And actually, I'm glad that you brought that up. I added some new commands today. I also have some new alerts for follows, cheers, subs, raids, hosts. So you guys might some, see some new stuff. Finally got Twitch to load on iOS. Yay! I'm glad you could hang out. I was talking about your username earlier. Is it fantasy? Is it fanta -se? Is it fantase? I feel like it's fantasy. But feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. All right. So is there anything else new? I don't know if there's anything else new. Dr. Nutt, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you. Welcome to the stream. I've just been talking through some new stuff. We've got a couple new commands. We've got some new alerts. Um, the alerts are super random. I wanted to decide on like one thing that I love, The Walking Dead or Star Wars, Lord of the Rings or Skyrim, and I couldn't decide. So all of the alerts are just kind of really random. <laughs> <laughs> some of them are Star Wars, some of them are Lord of the Rings. Just, you know, it's my life. It's just a mess, so whatever. It is what it is. Does Emmy have her own paw-operated stream deck? That would be clever. She's so smart, though. Like, if I'm using my phone or my iPad and she wants me to pay attention to her instead, she will literally put her paw up on my phone or iPad and, like, push it down so that... I can't use it and I have to pay attention to her. So she's clever. Don't be deceived because she's pretty. She's smart too. <laughs> All right. So I think I've got 400 days on here now. I had to go back through and I had to replay the first episode for you guys. And I did that yesterday. And you know what? After playing it through once and just seeing everything, knowing everything that happens afterwards, it was kind of like depressing and sad to do it again. So that's how much I care about you guys. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So 400 days. We're going to, we're going to dive in. Oh, and Emmy had her vet appointment, by the way, if you guys wanted to know. Her leg is fine and it's actually much better too. They think that she just pulled a muscle and she had a little soreness and to keep an eye on it, but she's doing great. She's running again, she's jumping on things again, she's letting me stretch it out. Her diagnosis that she got from the vet was that she's too chubby <laughs> and she needs to lose some weight, which who doesn't these days, you know? So Emmy and her mama both need to uh, get back in the fitness mindset, you know? 
So if anybody has any advice on how to stay motivated or something like that, let us know. Granted, I need the motivation, not her. She's down, she's down to party whenever. <laughs> Brave with the biscuit spoilage, yeah. Yup. So we cut back her food a little bit. I cut back the treats a little bit, so. I think she's already lost weight a little bit in the last week. Not too much, but we're doing okay, I think. All right. All right, so 400 days. Is this like one episode? It's not like a full game, right, I'm guessing? I think it's just one, like an episode. Steps out before banned. Banned for making my puppy too fat. <laughs> You always make me hungry, too, so maybe you're the reason that I, I'm i not in shape. Let's just blame Brave for everything. That sounds good to me. So how are you guys all doing? Happy hump day. Hopefully your week is going well. This is some upbeat music we've got going on. Gil's Pit Stop. Okay, so this must be before everything happens because it seems active. There's people at the gas station, there's traffic. Oh, I kind of like that the 400 days is like a diner sign. Oh, okay, that happened fast. Gas up now, next rut stop, 45 miles. Okay. Playing Persona 4. Persona is an RPG game, right? I really want to try that, I think. I think that I've heard that it's a really good game. I've heard a lot about Persona 5. But honestly, I know nothing about it. I was on somebody else's stream and they said that it was one of the best RPGs they've ever played, if I remember correctly. Well, this is sad. Bonnie, Russell, Wyatt, Shell Broth Site 3? What does that mean? Oh, can I look at these pictures or is this just. Oh, I can look at them. Oh, I can choose Vince or Wyatt, Russell, Bonnie, or Shell. I don't know who to choose. Who do I choose? Are there anybody other than those four? That's four, right? Or is it? No, it's five. <laughs> I can't count. I cannot do math. Math is literally like my nemesis. Shell looks like fun. I don't know which one she is, but they're at a party, so that looks cool. Bonnie looks like she's a traveler, which seems fun. Russell seems intelligent. Wyatt doesn't like his picture taken. Vince looks like he's at a party with a solo cup. What do you guys think? Who should I be? I'm kind of debating between Shell and Bonnie, but I'm not sold. I'm open to other opinions, so let me know. I'll hold up a minute and see what you guys think I should do. Do they have like different stories? Do they all end up with the same story? I don't know. I don't know how it goes. Hmm. Like, can you play as each of them? I don't know. Brave says Vince. Let's play Vince. Let's do it. He's got a solo cup. He looks like a party. He looks like a fun time. Let's go for it. Persona's like 10% RPG, 90% cutscenes. I told you. I already told you it wasn't me, man. Man, come on. I told you like, like 20 times. This I is even, intense. I don't even know you're is that Vince? Is that us? We're, we're being thrown right in, huh? Does he have shoes on? He sounds like he's running barefoot. That's like a barefoot feet slapping on pavement sound to me. Okay, so this is before before stuff happens? Okay, so we shot someone before 
Were they a walker? They must not have been. They were talking to us, right? What is happening? Okay, Vince, two days in. Oh, so we went to prison. We didn't get away. Vince is sassy. What the hell, man? What? You know. Cut it out. Jesus, you guys. I thought the siren was on your side, not the game. I thought, what did Emmy do now? Emmy's just always causing trouble, you know? I'm making him hot now. You guys ever gonna quit? How else we gonna pass the time? Hey, man. Seems like there could be a better way to pass the time than irritating each other. Hey, Justin. See that guy in the beat up truck? I bet he lives in that truck now. You probably got his whole house. So life savings. Shit. I bet you stole his dog. You steal his dog, man? I wasn't stealing. So do we know that anyway? Do we know what's happened? Hey, how many times I gotta tell you? Here we go. Seriously, I was falsely accused. How old was she? Fifteen. Damn it, it ain't like uh, that. We're all in the same boat. Witness waiting around in your white van. I'm shocked. We're all in the same boat here. What's the point of arguing? The point is. Isn't Vince I'm the guy like that, that Nick shot? Does he shoot a guy named Vince? I don't know if I remember that. <gasps> Wait, from the second one? I don't know. Is it? Let it go, man. Call her when we get there. You know. We're probably not going to get there, but I can at least give you hope now, I guess. I don't know what that noise was. Danny, I know you don't realize this. She just knocked my plant off, but it landed the right way. I don't think Scott Porter is in this one. Sadly. How about some water back here? I thought you took the stand and cried your eyes out. Scott Porter. I'm sad about Luke now. Turns out I'm good at that. You lied on the stand? You committed perjury? No, man. Watch a lot of cop shows? You should have been a man about it. We'll be honorable, I guess. My moralistic shit kicked in by a couple of criminals. You wanna know the funny thing? I don't regret What's anything. the funny thing? I carried my victims for years. They knew what they were getting into. And now here I am, and there they are. And Wall Street he assholes pulling the same scores are smiling on TV. Wait, well, what did he do? Fuck that. How did it all work, anyway? How? Like, I'm just gonna stay quiet, because I don't totally know what's happening. <laughs> That's how I live my life. It was a really good period. Good shit is still shit. We want that Luke it's sequel. Seriously, crazy. nobody could like dive into the yeah, freezing well, cold water, pull stuff. him out of the clutches of the walker, and swim him back to the surface. Like, what the like fuck? Let's bring Luke back. Let's start a petition. A million. Scott Porter, come on, Damn, sign this petition with us. Oh, when we get out of here, you, me, and Vince, we gotta go into business. Know what I'm saying? You know. All right. I don't actually know a thing about you. Am I gonna be friends Maybe with these dudes? Yeah, Father Vincent. I bet he touched the kid. I was a priest. My little brother. They send you to prison for that now? He was in trouble. I had to help him out. I knew it was something. Am I literally a priest? Maybe he'll come back as a White Walker. <laughs> Jumping genres. Every day. I was thinking about Game of Thrones today. I really want to reread the books. Stupid dog knocked the can over the next day. Kid found it and turned it in. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. Man, you're bad luck, man. So we hit the gun bad successfully. Luck, but then a <laughs> dog. What do you think, Justin? A dog squealed on us. What are you gonna do about you? Fuck me. Yeah, Em, a dog squealed on you, us. Oh, oh, oh my. Crabtree, knock it off. Hey, Anyone know this man? guy? Anyone know this guy? Nah, man. Why are the cops not coming in? 
Let the guard handle it, guys. Fuck that. We gotta get in there. You do not want to get in the middle of that shit, Danny. Vince. What's we gotta happening? Do you know this ain't right. I'm not doing any more time to save some stupid. Help ass. him. Help him, Danny. What's that? Speak up, boy. We can't reach. Why are the guards not coming back? Like, help the kid. I don't know if he's a kid. Do something. Yes, Andy. Oh, you maybe not kill him, but. Oh damn! What did you do, boy? God damn Couldn't you have just like knocked him out? Just get those cuffs off him, man! Yeah, maybe not do that, right? Like, don't aren't they trained in other ways to like subdue prisoners? Nobody had to die, asshole. Should play the Telltale games. Oh, the Game of Thrones ones. I played the first chapter once forever ago. I don't even remember it really. It was so intense. I was getting so stressed out about the decisions. I would totally play it again though. And I didn't play the whole game. So maybe I will do that after I do the Walking Dead games. Well, somebody's defensive. Everybody needs to calm the fuck down. Yeah, calm the fuck down, everyone. He's right. Let's all just take it down a notch, okay? Like, five notches? What are you talking about? You really want to pull that trigger again, son? Alright, are, so are the prisoners going to, like, overtake Thanks, the cops? And that's how we, like, survive? Did any of these people we play as today survive? Did you see that? I saw oh, I saw. I saw. Yeah. Hey, you gotta get us the hell out of here. You're not going anywhere. Fuck that. Get this bus moving. Yeah, get the bus moving. Benny, what do you need? We're safe inside the bus. No more espresso for that guy. Oh god, that guy! The one that got strangled? Hey. Hey. He's alive, I mean he's alive! Did he just fail on us? Yes he did. Back up, back up. Oh, and we're stuck. That's rough. You can't reach us. You sure about that? That ink's gonna get Shit. If he rots enough, he'll just break his leg off. Find a weapon. What kind of weapon? Let me go lay down. Yeah, yeah, the gun. Good thinking, Justin. Where the fuck is it? Oh. It's underneath it. Oh, what kind of trouble are we in? Oh, happy September, by the way. Today is, what, the second day of September? It's September. Oh, oh. There is a deal on subscriptions and stuff right now. So if you enter exclamation point September into chat, it will give you some information on that if that's something that you're interested in. No pressure. Uh, let me go lay down, baby. Can you believe this shit, man? We just went potty. What else do you need? It's not time for your supper. Nothing. Okay. What are we supposed to Okay, do we loot him? We're looting the cop. Doesn't seem illegal at all. Can't do anything until we get out of these damn chains. Maybe Oh, is he going to turn? He's still alive. Did he just move? Did he just move? Well, shit, if he's on on him, then where the hell are they? They must have left them up front. Can we get up front? Is the door shut? Is he dead too? Maybe we find a kind of break. What's Daddy, happening? Daddy. Oh, he did. Huh? He did. God damn it, Danny. You always put your fucking foot you, man. You gotta get out of here before any more of them show up. Uh, he looks... So the character that we're playing, Vince, looks exactly like Glenn from the first game. Okay, we already searched him. Can we... Whoa, whoa, watch it. It ain't gonna work. 
Okay, so we can't do that. They said no. My friends said no. Can we undo them? Take out the windows. Take out the windows? Like that window? That seems like a bad idea when we're stuck. I think you just pissed them off. Yeah. Yeah, save the shells. Okay. How the hell are we gonna get out of here? I don't way. know. Figure it out. Shoot off the chains? No way. I just tried that and you told me not to. If we shoot one of those off, the chain will slip right out. Are you fucking insane? What do you think is gonna happen if you fire a shotgun that close to someone's well? Oh, what do you think is gonna happen if we don't get the fuck out of here? Touche. He makes a good point. Oh my gosh, I hope you can't see the cat hair like flying around. I'm patting this cat right now, and like there's just little dust bunnies floating into the air. If you can see that, please just pretend you don't. <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 you can't. Oh, I tried it on him first. I have a family. Oh, oh, Did I fuck up his foot? Shit. Still attached. Again. Do it. Again? But I injured him. I don't want to injure him. Oh, fuck. He got a stump now. I mean, I guess the other guy seemed nicer anyway. She's kind of a smelly cat. Oh, have you seen Friends? Smelly cat, smelly cat. What are they feeding you? Do I... Oh. Oh, so I play the next one now? Okay. Then let's go to Shell. Okay. Best song ever. Seriously. What's what's that other part? You're obviously not their favorite pet. Oh no. They won't take you to the vet. You're obviously not their favorite pet. Is this Shell? Is this us? That guy looks like Christopher Eccleston at that angle. Just throwing that out there. Or is this us? Shell, 236 days in. That's a big jump. Becca had a good teacher step. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. So yeah. over a year in. in a world like this. What do you think that does to a kid? So I'm Shell and that's my sister. She's already changing. She dismisses things she cares about so easily. I guess you kinda have to when you've already lost so okay. much, but I still worry. So I'm a big sister. She's a good kid. These are shit times. And she's gonna go through that. We can keep her from so are we living in a diner? Thanks, Stephanie. Who is Stephanie? Who is she? Hey. Becca, that was great. Thanks. What's Steph. her name, Becca? I think we can do something like this every week. That sounds well, like a great, a great idea. Great idea. I'm going to be a supportive sister. In on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use oh, he more does music. not look like Christopher Eccleston I anymore. I take it back. I a band. Yes, Roman, you told us. Zombie animateur <laughs> hour. Again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Seems like it would be dangerous to be playing music in a diner oh, in a city. Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden. Unless this diner oh, isn't soup in a Okay. Populated. Did you know that's how you pronounce that word? Totally is. Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Um. Okay, but be careful. I guess we'll trust her with that. Depend on those. We can't have them screwing up because we got lazy. I mean, show of, a show of faith is good, right? Sure thing. Next is the penguin. The Sea World constipated penguin. I still can't even believe that story. I literally cannot. 
uh, I made a highlight video for that stream, and I'm pretty sure the penguin story is in that highlight video because I can't even handle it. I just, I can't, I can't even, you know? I can't even. So I heard a really funny joke once, and it was, oh my god, I don't know if I'm going to get it right. It was, why to why do white girls always go to the bathroom in odd numbers? Let me know if you know why. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? We never found the fifth flashlight. I wonder if that penguin is still alive. You guys need help? <laughs> nah, we got this. Oh my gosh. Do penguins go live a long time? Up. Like that happened when you were a kid, right? Like, I don't know what a penguin lifespan is. Like, would it be unreasonable well, for them to still be alive? I don't know yet. Are you going to find out? Yeah, in a sec. Um, okay. So we're missing a flashlight. I'm assuming that's going to come up later. Like 15 years ago. I'm kind of curious. These knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry. They're on our list. All right, so we are gonna, my curiosity is just too much. Let's look up the lifespan of a penguin. Do you know if it was an emperor penguin or a little penguin? Apparently a little penguin's lifespan is six years, so odds are not very good on that penguin still being alive, but if it was an emperor penguin, it looks like they live up to 20 years. Or a Humboldt penguin. Is a Humboldt penguin the same thing as an emperor penguin? I didn't know there were so many kinds of penguins. So fun fact for the day, there's lots of different kinds of penguins and they have very different lifespans. <laughs> Welcome to my educational stream. We do what we can to um, give you nice wildlife facts. <laughs> um, okay. You and your dad are still banned from the pig and whistle on Tropicana Avenue. What is that? What is that story? I don't know if we've heard that story. I would like to think it's a baby emperor penguin and living a happy life. Then it is. That's exactly what happened. When you saw it, it was just a baby, and it was an emperor penguin, and it is still alive. It's living its best life. It's got lots of lady penguins and lots of fish. That's that's how it's living. It's living the high life. And for that joke I heard, um, how, why do white girls always go to the bathroom in odd numbers? The answer to that was because they just can't even because I can't even is such a common, like, basic thing to say, I guess. I think that joke is hilarious. I don't know. My sense of humor, though, is kind of funky, so. We had a waitress that was like Betty Boop. What is it? Boop, boop, ba -doop, boop. Was that, like, her thing? I think it was. Empty wall. It's weird in here without the paintings. Well... Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. Did we take a painting down? A personal gallery in here when he's done. We ordered steak. We got the most memorable lean over. Oh, jeez. Well, Betty Boop is a sex icon. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. They used to also pay people. She was um a pinup, right? Along with like. Were Twiggy and Brigitte Bardo pinups, or were they just like some of the first supermodels? I don't know. Do we want to go through the doors, or what was was there anything over here? Oh, what's? Let's look at the hey, cash Baca, register think we first. Start charging for the inspections we make. Oh yeah, then we can spend all our money at nowhere. <laughs> we could spend all our money at nowhere. What a great joke, kid! You're hilarious. Me and my dad walked back to the hotel saying that waitress could be an actress. My mother and sister eye-rolled. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Alright, so we're in the kitchen. There's another door. Let's look at the sink, I guess. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. 
I'm curious to know what, like, a human being that looks like Betty Boop would look like, though. Like, did she have a really big head? Or was she just, like, really voluptuous? <laughs> this hasn't worked in a long time. Uh, did she have a little white dog? I always liked the little dog. Oh, there's soup cooking. So we must have a generator of some kind. Making some food. I don't know if I've told you guys, but I've been re-watching The Walking Dead from the beginning. I'm in season six now. And I forgot how much of a trip season five and season six are. Like, whoa, man. Whoa. Okay, we're in the pantry. Starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. All right, so wherever we are has a garden. We can look at the canned goods. I don't miss going on raids for this stuff. All right, so we're not doing raids anymore. We'll go in the employee section. Oh, oh, there's a waka. Scared me. We got a waka. He's hungry. Guess he knows it's feeding time. On a chain. Why are we keeping a pet walker? I feel bad for it. I yeah, well, feel we found a way for him to be bad for it. Now, uh, your sister says she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Why are... Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best. It's really not. This is far from an easy life, Roman. I don't understand. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make. So much kitty hair floating around. As long as she knows how to protect Big pair of boobs, right. definitely. <laughs> so she was a voluptuous lady. Okay. Could she really have been an actress, or were you and your dad just a little bit entranced? Because <laughs> I've seen that happen. Okay, what is... I guess we'll talk to the walker, whatever good that will do. Is the walker a cop? Maybe? Is this one also chained up? Why are we keeping walkers chained up? I don't understand. Do we know this one? No, yes. I don't know. I don't really know what's happening. I think we might have been a little enamored, but the steak was good too. Well, see, she was very blessed in her features, and she gave you some really good food. So there's a double whammy right there. You guys didn't have a chance. Honestly, though, steak sounds really good right now. Oh my god, it's food again! Brave! You're always making me hungry! <laughs> Oh my god, seriously. Ah, oh, a nice medium rare steak sounds freaking fantastic. Oh, are we getting attacked? Oh. Don't scare people in the zombie apocalypse! What the fuck? It's just not cool. You just can't go jumping out at people. Not anymore. Really, I feel like what that's a bad idea in a zombie apocalypse where everyone is like amped up and carrying guns all the time. Maybe you shouldn't jump out at people. It just sounds like a puppy. Yeah. I didn't notice it was eating a puppy. Maybe I'm glad I didn't realize that. I probably would have cried. But after a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. But the fudge, Becca. God. Seriously. Ben. Oh my god, Becca. There it is. Back off. It if you want to it and steak break. Oh, I wish I had some steak right now. I love me a good steak, you know? Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Who's Clyde? Was it Clyde or... Something's going on outside. What's going what on? It? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. You could be more specific with what's going on. We should be prepared into whatever we're running into, right? Right? Am I wrong? Come here, everyone. Shit. What do you need? We gotta find Roman. 
Oh, oh. Who's that? Is it Vince? My God. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. What's happening? Who is he? Who is he? I got no idea. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. Second break in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Oh. Last time we couldn't catch him. Well, we're in they the city. What do you more expect? Than we could afford to lose. We all know what it's like trying to survive out there. We do, don't we, Morgan just Freeman? For food. Just give him some I think he looks like Morgan money. Freeman yeah, anyway. Oh, he could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. We could let him we can't stay? We risk of letting him go, but why not let him stay? I guess that would be okay. We could always use more hands keeping the place secure. See? We don't need any more people here. And look at him. He can't even speak Maybe English. he's a good this guy. Works we Who cares if he him. can't speak English? He can learn. We can find a way for him. Don't to be help. racist, old lady. Well, staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. And the last time we did that, we lost Bree. Oh, we did. With that goddamn boat. That lady's got a large and nose. The are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. He made us beat up that guy with a mustache and steal his boat. We did that. I've regretted it ever since. Wait, did they steal Kenny's that boat? When our group fell apart. What? We can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In what? his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Another story that happened in San Francisco. We don't know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing. Jacques, around. welcome. We either let welcome, this guy welcome. Go and take our chances. Kill him. We've got so much stuff going on. Jesus Christ. We're Can debating on killing oh this God. guy. Oh my goodness. We are letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling so, you. So yes, welcome to the stream, Jacques. Is that really the answer? We're on our second Stephanie, story from four hundred days and man, they throw us right in. Yeah, They're intense. Stand on the You're the swing boat here, Shell. I'm be. the swing vote. I have to decide whether we kill him or set him free. I'm gonna say set him free and hope that that doesn't yeah, bite us in the free. ass. Do you guys think it's gonna bite us in the ass? Did I just make a terrible okay, decision? He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. I should have learned isn't from self -defense. Isn't it crap. Though? What was that kid's name? It Arvo. It come back to hurt us? Arvo. We same. gave him his medicine just back just and then he still home. fucked us over. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. We should let him go, right? I'm being a good human being. I'm not ready to let that go. I just want everyone to love each other. Shia Blue for president. Can that be my motto? We just, I want everyone to love each other. Give him some food. Three or four cans. Just as a gesture of good faith. Get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying. But you better understand this. You came this close to death today. And I saved your life. Ever. Ever. So please don't hurt us. This place again. Or tell please. anybody where we are. You wish you would die. I probably should have killed him, huh? Like thinking tactically, I feel like killing him is the good decision. But speaking from like a human morality standpoint. No. What? <laughs> Okay, 259 days in. Do these characters ever meet each other? Or do, are they just separate? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Okay, card game time. That's a Russian for you. I don't think that I have ever known a Russian person in real life, actually. Go fish. I, wait, I did have a four. I miss playing guitar for everyone. I mean, it was stupid, but fun. Can we not Why play guitar anymore? anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. Oh. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive, and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed His with and hers gaming. Now. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, Happy to see possible. you. Oh, are those your emotes? 
I really like those. Those are cool no emotes. I should fix the loose board behind the storage. Who did your emotes? Becca. Mine Becca. I did myself, and you can tell the quality is not fantastic. <laughs> oh, you know but yours look awesome, and I love them. The 80s wants its fashion back, right? Like the windbreaker, the hair, everything about it screams 80s. What if someone sees you and follows you back here? They won't. How do you know, kid? I need to talk to you. Am I in trouble now? Oh dear. What's going on? Hey, Becca. What do you hey. want? When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. Why? Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see. Me. Does anyone else immediately panic when somebody Just says, I need you to come talk to me? I'll tell you why later. Just come see me. And they won't tell you why you need to talk. Instant panic. Instant. So a long time ago, I worked at a restaurant. I did a couple things. I was a waitress. I worked the front where I did takeout orders and I was a hostess and sometimes I worked in the kitchen. Um, it was years ago. I was in high school and in college and my aunt actually worked there too. And I'm not working right now and my aunt happened to call me last night and for some reason I just convinced myself in my head that she was calling me to be like hey if you want to make some money where you could come work in the kitchen for us tonight or something and I just I convinced myself that's why she was calling me and I like panicked inside and I like couldn't breathe and I like didn't dare answer the phone and then she left me a message and I listened to the message, and all she said was like, oh, I picked something up at the store for you. Let me know when you can come get it. So why did I panic like that? Like, am I the only one who does stuff like that? Like, I don't know. I am definitely built, like programmed. My default mode is panic. And I wish that were not the case. Please tell me I'm not the only one. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff to look at here. So Boyd is the one who died, and Boyd was the one who did painting. This painting is unfinished. Am I supposed to, like, know who Boyd was? Did we, like, talk to him at one point? Like, was Boyd one of those people? I have no idea. Joyce is the old lady. Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Well, somebody what fucking tell me. They caught Stephanie stealing, and then trying to escape. Oh my God! Our what are friend do? Stephanie. I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Oh dear. Okay. We're gonna look at the truck. Oh, is the truck like? a fence for us on one side, kind of. This lady is zombie-proof. All bones and gristle. <laughs> and nose. Don't forget the nose. Roman? Good. You're here. Oh, we found Roman. I'm sorry. Are they keeping Stephanie in the truck? What are you gonna do? Was Stephanie, like, my friend? My best what friend? What happened? Caught her trying to escape. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she just wanted to get outside these walls. Benefit for a while. of the doubt. Ever since the incident, you've made this place feel, I don't know, oppressive. We've made it safe. So he's kind of like Rick. She was definitely trying to escape. She had most of our Rick has his moments where he's a little bit of a dictator. All of us. Like the end of the second season where he's like, This is not a democracy. You do know why I'm telling you this. Right, Coral. You want me to take care of it. You want me to tell my best friend to fuck off? Convinced us all to take that chance. But we did. It was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. Oh, we're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. That's and I need to what know happened. That you're with us 100%. So my decision was a bad one. Let's talk to her first. 
They came back and attacked us and someone died. Was Boyd the Morgan Freeman dude? But she's my friend and she has piercing blue eyes. It's in the camp. Give her a shot. I would never survive the zombie apocalypse. What about you guys? That's up to you. Whatever you say. I would just want I don't know. I would wanna believe the best of everyone. Although I'm also really suspicious of everyone, so I don't know how I would do. I'm gonna say it's gonna be hard to hear. What is it? A wannabe Breaking Bad. Stephanie. I have yet to watch that show, but I want to. Trying to escape. Oh my god. So why did she try to escape? Is this place really that bad? Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Okay, so you're upset at her? She's just scared. She made a mistake. That'll be her last mistake. Becca, Stephanie is your friend. What the friend. fuck, Becca? She was my friend. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Are we supposed to take her out or, like, exile her? Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there in the drawer. Maybe she wants to escape to the Shyla camp of Huggles. I would literally want to have a camp where everyone just like got along and liked each other and took care of each other. No, I don't. Just want to get it over with. What? I I don't know. I would have a really hard time. Like if somebody was my friend had been living alongside me, I would not be able to just be like, "Nope, you're gone." Unless it was like a really terrible offense. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Yeah. Are you crazy? Where Maybe are that's the go? best There's idea. Maybe we take there. off with Stephanie. As long as we're here, we're safe. How do you know? People protect us. We're in a city. For how long? Doesn't seem like the I best place know. to be. I than we'd survive out there. Besides, you don't know that. You know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. Well, that seems it's, it's suspicious in the first place. We try to leave, someone hunts us down. What about free will, assholes? I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. Actually, Shell's voice sounds really familiar. No, I'll do it. We shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I might look it up in a I second just, here. Unless it was brave, then it's for the safety of all. I don't know. I kind of dig her windbreaker, though. I know we were making fun of it, but damn. Should we kill Stephanie or should we drive away? Can we drive away with Stephanie? I'm leaning towards drive away. What do you guys think that we should do? I think that I'm going to drive away. Actually, you know what? Before we make this decision, I think I'm going to do a quick ad and bathroom break because apparently this hard cider really makes me need to pee. So quick potty break. I'm going to run an ad while we do that. If you're a sub, you won't get an ad because yay sub perks. Um, so I'm going to do that and then I will see you right back here and we will make this decision that I don't want to make. <laughs> Um, I'm leaning towards driving away. Let me know what you think that we should do because I am open to feedback because I don't like to make decisions. <laughs> All right, see you back here very soon.
had a raid. Oh my goodness, hello. White Sith Mail, thank you so much for the raid. Hi, Jelly. Oh my goodness, welcome, welcome. We're playing some Walking Dead. We're on 400 days. Whoops, that was not the right command. <laughs> I meant to do that one. There we go. Yes, we're so excited to have you. Thank you so much for the raid. Oh my goodness. It's Wine and Walker Wednesday. We've been playing the Walking Dead games every Wednesday with some wine. Um, last week, I wasn't able to play the Walking Dead, so we played Fall Guys with wine. This week, we have the Walking Dead, but we don't have any wine. So I've got some hard cider instead. So we're making it work. So yay, welcome everyone. I love this game so much. Have you played it before? No, this is my first time playing through. We've played through season one and two. We finished season two two weeks ago, and I didn't realize that 400 days is supposed to fall between season one and season two, so we're playing 400 days today. And then, depending on if we finish 400 days or not today, it will be season three next week, or the week after if we don't finish but didn't play 400 days. Yeah, I didn't know about it, and then my chat told me about it, and so I took a poll on whether I should jump into season three or if I should do 400 days first, and everybody voted for 400 days first. And honestly, it was a pain in the butt because apparently I have the Xbox version of The Walking Dead that has the whole first season, that's not good enough to download the 400 days DLC. You have to have the season one only episode one download for the Xbox 360. So you have that save file in order to base 400 days off of. So I had to go through and um, I replayed season one episode one on the Xbox 360 version yesterday just so I could play 400 days today. So chat, that should tell you how much I love you all. Also, when I was delayed today, I felt so bad. The moment that I hit start stream, my puppy decided to throw a tantrum and decided she needed to go outside right that moment. So I brought her outside and I was like panicking that we weren't going to be back in time. So I like ran. So at the beginning of my stream, I was like out of breath and kind of sweaty because I wanted to get back so you guys wouldn't have to wait forever because I felt bad. So that is how much I love you guys. <laughs> Maybe it ties the two together because no spoilers, but season three kind of does something different abruptly and I didn't like the change. Oh, I haven't started season three yet, so we'll have to see that. The love is felt good. I'm glad, Brave, because I so, so appreciate everybody that comes to hang out. For real. It's amazing. You guys have a lot of things you could be doing with your time. The fact that you're chilling with me, this is how I feel about it. I, I don't have words. <laughs> a starting screen for exactly that feeling. Seriously. Like, I had my starting screen up, and I try not to, like, let the starting screen go for too long. But then the moment that I hit start stream, she starts tantruming. And I was like, really? Right now? <laughs> okay, so we'll probably see that next week then. Or the week after. All right. So we left on a big decision. Do you guys have thoughts? We can either... So our friend got caught stealing. Apparently she was stealing medicine and weapons. So the leader of our camp wants us to execute her. But we could just run away. I'm leaning toward run away. Brave, you think run away too? What does everyone else think? Oh, no aim, don't flame. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. Playing some Walking Dead. Is this Michonne? Nope, this is the 400 days one. And I think I'm going to drive away. My sister, my little sister, is being kind of an asshole and she wants to just kill Stephanie, even though she's our friend. Like, I'm a little bit worried about the influence that this is having on my sister. So, let's drive away. 
only played the first episode. Stephanie is your name? I did not know that. I thought your name was actually Jelly. No, I'm just kidding. It kind of has a good ring to it, though, Jelly Darling. Um, all right. Let's what drive away. Doing? We're going to drive away. What the hell? I have played No Aim, Don't Flame. I've played season one and season two. Oh, and we broke their fence. That kind of sucks. We didn't bring Stephanie with us? Because they're just going to kill her without us. We should have We should have brought Stephanie with us. Like, what the fuck did we do that for? Oh, now we're going to play as someone else. Okay. So there were five names up on this board. We played two of them. We played Vince and Shell. So now I guess we're going to be Wyatt. Damn your parents for naming you Jelly. Right? Do parents not have any consideration for what they name us? What the hell? <gasps> Nobody calls me Stephanie, only my best friend. Even my boyfriend calls me Jelly. That's awesome. I know, most people call me shy. So. I mean, that is my actual name, though, so it's a little bit different. Let's play did I answer you no aim don't flame I've played season one and season two we're on 400 days right now which is supposed to bridge the gap between the first and second seasons of the game so which I didn't know was a thing so that's what we're working on right now sorry <laughs> I get so distracted talking to chat being into the game so many things happen and every story we've played so far, every story, just Shell and Vince so far, they throw you right in. So Wyatt's 41 days in. So when we played God, Vince, so it was Why two days in. Shoot that guy, man. What the hell was that? I didn't mean to do it. It just happened, okay? Where the fuck were you with a warning? Me? I don't You're know. That on me now? I didn't see the guy either. Okay, Wyatt's Where the one with the beard. Guns on us shit! Dude, how'd they catch up to us? Shit. Just... Who's chasing us? Hurry up, Eddie. I have two mics. Shoot. Oh, I have to take the gun. Get him, man. Young George Lucas. Jesus. Oh, I have to shoot him? I don't want to shoot somebody. Oh no! Ah! Can we? I can't pause to fix it. Fuck if I know. Stop bothering me. <laughs> okay, let me pause. You can hear me twice. Let me see if I can fix that real quick. I don't know why you can hear me twice. Um, is that any better? Oh, now you can't hear the game audio, right? That's bizarre. Hold on a hot second. Let me see if I can fix this. Maybe. I don't know why that happened. Is it happening now still? Can you still hear me twice? Because I did mute a second device here. Hmm. I need IT support. What's going on? Oh, let me try this. Can, is it better now? Let me know. All right, it looks like I did, okay, there we go. Good, thank you guys. It looks like I did have it set up twice, so thank you very much for letting me know. I appreciate that. Also, I'm gonna do,
real quick while we can before we jump back in to whatever is happening with Wyatt. Whoops. <laughs> the drinks are getting to me. I forgot to put in the command. There's some shout outs for everybody. Because I appreciate you being here. Okay. Back to the All game. Back there, okay? I'll turn off. My right eye is like crying. I don't know why that's happening. So is Wyatt a criminal too? Wait, no, he was how many days into the epidemic? 40 something? Feel that look on me, man. I'm not being an asshole. And he's covered in blood. Smart. No lights, no, uh, you know, they can't see us. My mouth. Crashing won't help anything right now. A cow ain't gonna help anything. Whatever your oh, name shit. is. I should watch out for cow. Cows. Why didn't I think of that? When's the last time you saw a Only cow? for selling out to okay. Disney. <laughs> still hit no more there. George Lucas jokes. <laughs> Don't barf just yet, okay? Honestly, Please. this road is A really lot of people straight. really love the new At Star Wars movies. Down. What? If I think of them alone as like standalone films to watch, I can enjoy them. But they're just not Star Wars for me. I have a lot of feelings about it. Oh yeah, Jelly, no problem. I mean, you've directed a raid my way. You've been to a couple of my streams. I'm happy to give you a shout out. Guys, taking a shit over there. That's all they had to say. I like to try to support other people. Oh my God, there's gonna be an Indiana Jones five. Are you serious? I didn't know about that. It, is All that Disney's now too? Jacked up, like I was on speed. Aim, aim. Did you not know that either? Edge, you know? I didn't. Then I was like watching that guy's brains come out of the back of his head. Ew. Sorry, man. I... I think this guy's got PTSD. Well, thanks for getting us out anyway. It definitely will be. Apparently so. I didn't like the fourth Indiana Jones movie. It's about time. Did anyone like that movie? Eyes. I know of one person who liked the Crystal Skull. Like, so I love the Indiana Jones the trilogy. My dick. Not the fourth movie. <laughs> Apparently the Crystal Skull was a real here. thing in history, but it just I don't know. Not till we get out of this fog. It doesn't feel like it's part of the Indi puns? Indiana Jones no. series at all. Why did you start making puns? I said no, idiot. July 29th, 2022. <laughs> so it's a ways away. Right. If it's anything like Calm New Mutants, down. it will get delayed 10 million times. Why is it that you never had a girlfriend again? Oh, right. God, there was more than one reason. See if there's still any sticky in the glove box. Mm. What are we looking for in the glove box? Harrison Ford just trying to find see his way out of the library, I guess. In there, I don't see it. What <sighs> I do see is that ammo that you lost last week. Oh, ammo. Oh, really? But is there any weed? He wants weed, not ammo. You know, one time I was going out Priorities, bro. We're running away from someone, aren't we? I think loading the gun is probably more important right this second. Thanks. Okay. Weird, it's not classic Indiana Jones if it isn't made out of plasticine and B-movie set. Oh, shit! What just happened? Aren't you glad you turned the lights on, fuckhead? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. He has a big Did nose, too. I think that was a guy. Wyatt, come on, man. Say something. Was that a dude or not? What the... I don't know. Fucking fog. Eyes on the road, Shyla. I'm trying, I'm trying. No, no, it's too fast, man. Man, don't say that. You have to know. Dude, you have to. Why do to. I have to know? Why can't you know? You're the one who's supposed to be watching the road. You're the one driving. It'll like tell us one way or the other. That way we can just book. But I'm not leaving. I wish I knew this guy's name. I'm just not. 
What is happening? Man, don't roll it down broken. I can't see through the Yeah, cracks. why would you roll down the window Look, broken? It's not going right, to roll see? back up. Dude, what's that on the broken side? Mirror? I mean, I guess it's compromised anyway. Is that the mirror from the car? I can't tell from here. You think that blood on the windshield is fresh? Or <laughs> I can picture Shyla and Emmy losing control of a cat. We lose control of the cats daily. <laughs> A car. Man, I'm really not I have a picture of Emmy where it looks like she's trying oh, to drive sure. my car. Yeah, but plenty of I should try to find that. Car. She was only like four Look. months old at the time, and it was adorable. We were waiting for somebody to come with Chinese food for us. They were they walked Why? across the street to pick it up, and we were waiting in the car. Are you and sure? It's an adorable yeah. picture. How sure? I should find that and put it on sure. Twitter for you Don't guys. Eat a burrito and get on a roller coaster, sure. Jesus. So what do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? We go out there. All right, what is Wyatt Steele? What about the guys in the truck? The in the Did truck? they actually Man, run off the guys. road? If that guy back there is alive, we have to help him, Wyatt. There ain't a lot of live dudes left these days. Weren't we running from him? What if this guy is like the guys in the truck? He ain't gonna be much of a what threat if he's after a walker? we him off the hood. Come on, man. This is stupid. Uh. We'll go out there. We check it out. We get moving. Both of us? Both of us? I mean, I don't know. Me? I hit the fucking guy. One of us should stay here, though. So... In case. Are these people all gonna end up on their own and meet up okay. with each other? Well, shit, okay. Here, we'll or is it everybody's individual board. story? I don't know. Fine. Okay, cool. Good. So this question for everybody. Who yeah, is your yeah. favorite Indiana Jones leading lady? Man, is it Marion? Two seconds. Willie? It's over. Elsa? All right, two out of three, right? Kate Blanchett, because I don't remember her character's name. She wasn't really a leading lady, but we'll include her anyway, because Kate Blanchett's awesome. Three, go. Why are you gonna play this game or not? I meant to pick Rock. Three. We both picked rock. Fuck. What are the chances of that? Okay. Pretty good actually. One, two, three, go. Alright, alright. Okay. Alright. So what did One, I two, do? Three, go. I always Shoot. pick rock Stupid whenever rock. I play rock, paper, scissors. Like, do you guys like do that? Like, I don't know. I haven't played rock, paper, scissors in forever. But if somebody ever asks me to play, I always just do rock. Shit. I don't really know why. Right. So do I get to stay in the car? Is that what just happened? Eddie! What, Wyatt? Yep. You should get back in the car! Back in the car. No fucking way, man. What if it was you? It's probably a walker, and you're gonna fucking die. Here. You're going to get eaten alive. Yeah, you guys totally won a karaoke Twitch hey, Wyatt, Twitch I sing stream, right? With my beautiful voice. Ah. Um, what is that? I don't even know what that is. But Eddie's upset about that. He loves this car. Can I turn the lights off? Off. I'd rather have the le outside lights on, I guess. Eddie. He's a dead Eddie. man. He is the dead man. I don't know who Craig David is, though. Please don't judge me. <laughs> I'm staying right here. Okay, then why did it give me the option to open the door? Is there something I'm supposed to be able to do here? Okay, searching the floorboard. For real, I'm genuinely considering doing a Disney Twitch Sings stream. So if you guys think that sounds like a good idea, let me know. <laughs> I'm not that certain I think it sounds like a good idea. <laughs> but I don't know, I've just, I've had a lot of support from you guys and I think it might be, if it's something you guys want, I think it might be a cool way to celebrate and just have fun with you guys. Oh, there's the truck. Shit! Ah! 
The truck snuck up on us! Which is weird, because it has all its lights on. So, I just wasn't paying attention, clearly. Wait, what am I supposed to be doing? Whoa! Executed! What? What was I supposed to be doing? What? Why didn't you just leave them the ignition? Okay. Alright, truck. Yup. Shit! Ah! Ah! Not that ice. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, what do I do now? Oh, grab that. Close the door. Sure. And then what? Drive? Ah, he broke the window! Punch attacker. Okay. Punch him again. Alright. We just keep punching him, I guess? And then we drive? We leave our friend behind, apparently? Who the fuck are these people? Who's attacking us? What is happening? Like... What? Did we just... That was all of Wyatt's story? Fuck that. No, I need more! Okay, the frustrating thing about this game for me so far is that it's not enough. I need more. Who are these people? Like, what is happening to them? How did they get where they are? <laughs> I'm all about the backstory and character development, if you can't tell. And I need to know! Alright, we're starting with Bonnie now. Bonnie is somewhere okay, rainy. Got one. A snake for a tongue. You're so bad at this. Would you rather have a snake for a tongue? Awful. Or lobster claws. Is this our you? lover? 220 days in, so she's kind of like shell. It's a long ways in. Are the claws are human the claws size? Lobster size or human size? Oh! Human size? Can make this easy on you. Is that Carter? I'm thinking. Think harder. And how exactly do you think harder? Snake tongue. Gross. What? How is it more gross than lobster hands? Well, for one, it's in your mouth. Hey, you I'm sorry. I have to pause this real quick. Bonnie is the one that gave Clementine the ugly jacket, right? Like, is this going to make me feel sympathetic for her? Because I have a lot of feelings about Bonnie. Bonnie's responsible for a lot. Like, Bonnie is the one that pretended she needed stuff for her kids. But come to find out, she doesn't have any kids anymore. And she sold us out. So fuck Bonnie. I don't want to feel bad for her. <laughs> is this going to try to make us feel sympathetic? Jelly, yup, I hate Bonnie. Thank you. Thank you. I don't want to like Bonnie. Like, I kind of don't want to keep playing this Bonnie character because I don't want to feel bad for her. I just want to hate her. Like, what the fuck, game? You asked the question, Hoss. Is that Carter, though? Okay, how about... Oh, never mind. We probably ought to stop bugging you with stupid hypotheticals. I can't tell if it's Carter or someone else. It'd be a lot less fun. You've been a lot more fun lately. Feeling better? I guess She I made am. us wear that jacket well, for the sure whole season, better. right? Well, uh, we did wear that ugly-ass jacket for a whole cool. season. That came out wrong. What I mean is, I mean, uh, you were... The voice sounds different. Were, uh, it does sound different. You know. You know, you're not perfect either, Mr. Lobster Hands. Damn Maybe redhead redneck. <laughs> See how you like it. Me? I ain't perfect. That's right. And you're older than dirt. You are definitely not perfect, sir. You stay off that stuff. You kind of suck. All the flaws you want. I mean it, though. After we found you, you were still so hooked on that stuff. Oh, so Bonnie was a drug addict? You ain't out of the woods yet, I know, but well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. And I'm proud of you. If that's Carter, then I don't... Yeah, I'm a real poster child. I don't know. I see you on a brochure. Oh, like the ones at the dentist? Before and after, with the puffy face and the yellow teeth. Uh, I'm very suspicious of this whole thing. Well, you know I ain't going nowhere, right? As long as we're together, I'll be there for you. Where is she finding drugs in the apocalypse? Exactly. What are you saying? Like on the show, Merle tried and he didn't have a lot of success. It was all antibiotics that he found. 
Is that the guy's I wife? Found us something. What are you two up to? Uh. Just chatting. Chatting, huh? What about? Who are you? Oh, the rain. Won't let up today. What is well, happening? Sounds like real stimulating conversation. Glad I missed it. I got you a present. Oh, you shouldn't have. Are we sneaking around on this lady? I don't I'm not comfortable being the other woman. Fuck that. We gotta get moving. He had Oxy. Where's this snorty straw, Gerald? That's true. What? So I I love me some Daryl Dixon. I can't lie. D. D. Did you hear me? What's in the bag, D? I told you it's a surprise. What do you have as a surprise, hey, lady? Dee, when we get back to camp, would you let me borrow some of that nail polish? Sure, hon. You like this color? It's my favorite. And after today, I could use a new coat, you know? Frisky Same Normal, thing. welcome to the stream. Claws. Normally, I would say don't trust this ginger. They're always Dee. snitches. But then I notice your hair. <laughs> Where down the road? I'm not a ginger. It's just strawberry blonde. So you're safe. You stole that bag. We need to know. I've been called a ginger in my lifetime, but I refuse to believe that. Sure, gang up on me a lot lately. Honey, that ain't true. Tell me one time you. I insist I'm a strawberry blonde. Last month. All right. I can't remember one especially, but I know I have. False. This is how all our fights go. Every time. Why do you have so many fights? Now we're standing Are you just a bitch? Soaking through. Or is he an work. asshole? Don't you want to get to the camp before Hush, dark? Keep your voices down. down. But you are the one who made me stop. Irregardless, we could just as easy carry on like this while right. we're walking. Oh, You're drawing walkers. Every kid fuck off. Now now we're standing you keep on in like this goddamn rain in this goddamn middle of nowhere you place. You listen to me now. I oh my god, all of you, shut up. Not, oh no, his name is Leland. One, so why even bother trying? Bonnie, Maybe he's a bitch and help. she's an Let asshole. Touche. Touche. Finally, someone makes some damn sense around here. Ginger discrimination is allowed. Well, I don't darling, know. Sorry we're I once went to a birthday party of a friend at a restaurant. I know what side your brand And I met on. Yours too. one of my friend's friends that I hadn't met before. What are you saying? And the first you know words exactly that they said to me were, Oh hey, how does it feel to have no soul? No reason to pick up So that was not a great positive first interaction. I'm convinced that I do not have red hair. I have strawberry blonde hair. But I wanted to punch that guy in the face. <laughs> so, speaking on behalf of people who actually do have red hair, I kind of want to say, no, gender discrimination is not cool. <laughs> Whoops, I just died. My bad. I don't really care though, cause it's Bonnie. Is that bad? I just want to get somewhere <laughs> where I can change my clothes, and then you and your girlfriend can. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh god! Run! Come on! We gotta move. What are, are there walkers? About? What? Why are you saying we run? Oh, oh a flashlight. Oh, I'm supposed to be running. Wait up, yo! Stop going so fast! I got shot. Okay. Who the fuck is Leland? I have no idea. You should have said it's fine because I get to eat other people's. <laughs> I wish that I could have thought of a good comeback like that, like when it happened. Cause I remember just feeling instantly like so angry and like, did you really just say that to me? This is the first moment we have ever met, like. <laughs> Where are we, Bonnie? Normally I would feel bad to hear people get discriminated on, but genders are special cases. Ah! Wait, where are you? I can't even see it. Oh, so we die again. Okay. I couldn't see it. It's the game's fault, not mine, okay? Right? You guys saw that, right? It's, it's the game's fault, not mine. It was too way too dark to see. Let's try to see it this time. I still can't see it. Uh, uh, ah! Where is it? Did we literally just die again? I only think of good comebacks for other people, not even my own later on. Seriously, is that not the most frustrating thing ever? 
like, the day after something happens to me, I'm like, oh, if I had said this, that would have been badass. But I didn't, so it really doesn't change anything. Okay, we got it that time. So gratifying to see Bonnie getting beat up. Well, we saw her die just like four times now, so that was pretty good, right? <laughs> Because I utterly fail at apparently keeping Bonnie alive. Are we running into a cornfield? Children of the corn. Hey, Layla. Who here? Look. Where the hell are they? Is that Leland? I don't totally know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I'm just running through a cornfield. Can't see a damn thing out here. Anybody got anything? Um, okay. Am I supposed to avoid the flashlight? Where are you? Um, I don't know. What's happening? Small peen jokes. <laughs> they do always work at making a dude mad, that's for sure. <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, can we. No. Anything? No, I can't see a damn thing out here. Alright, is that who we're hiding from? Ah! <laughs> hiding in the bushes. <gasps> I got caught. Was that supposed to happen? Oh, Mama, watch over me. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Oh no, it's a tractor. Okay, Bonnie. Stay calm. Find a weapon. Um, what about that? That seems decent. Why can I not pick it up? Or a typical man's behavior when he goes to take a leak. Why do men insist on needing to go to the bathroom outside? Like, I don't understand. Oh shit, what just happened to me? Why? I couldn't get the rebar. The game wouldn't let me. Because they can. I think if women could, we totally would too. I despise peeing outside. It probably is because I'm a female, because it's a totally different experience for us. It's awful. Okay, Bonnie. Stay calm. The last I distinctly remember the last time I tried to pee outside. I was at a party and it was miserable. My ex-boyfriend was with me and he tried to like help me keep my balance because I was pretty heavily intoxicated. We'll just add that right now. And <laughs> um, it did not go that well. Like I was trying to keep my balance and not pee on my flip flops and it was just kind of miserable. And that was the last time I peed outside because it was not enjoyable. You mean hammered? I was pretty hammered. Oh no! D, I'm so sorry. Oh god! I just killed that woman. What? Well, I didn't kill her, I guess. You. Why? Do. Do. do I, I didn't know, know it was you. How bad is it? It's dark. It's so dark. I, I couldn't see you. I, I didn't know it was you. Oh, oh. I need to pause to read this for a second. Last time I had to, I was in Morocco. We were on a long trip and I had to pee on the way home. They stopped so we could. Everybody was waiting. Goats. Goats in the tree? Boyfriend stood with me so I didn't get kidnapped. Then on the way back to the van, my vest slid on the back of the chair and my titty popped out. Oh no! <laughs> yup. Yup. I haven't, I don't think I've had that happen. But it's, it's always a danger you have to think about, you know? And sometimes when you're drinking, it's not at the, the front of your mind, you know? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, goodness. 
They have goats in the trees. They climb them for the nuts. There are literally goats in the trees in Morocco. Like, they just chill in the trees. Like, what? <laughs> How much did you spend on therapy? <laughs> I just got drunk for the next few days and we good. Oh my gosh, what? We love Shyla drunk stories. We love them. <laughs> that makes me think of Gollum. We love them. We love them. That was a terrible impersonation, but don't judge me. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're small trees, but they definitely still climb them. What? That's insane to me. What happens in Morocco stays in Morocco. Sounds like it should. You killed me. Oh my gosh, I'm like laugh crying. <laughs> Oh, were there a bunch of people there to see the incident? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to smack you with some rebar. What happens in Morocco stays in Morocco, but somehow found its way into Twitch chat. That's funny. No, God, I'm sorry. I need him. I need you both. I know. I like. I refuse to pee outside ever since my experience but yours was definitely a little more traumatizing than mine <laughs> well we didn't really get any peaceful resolution from that death did you find her honey i thought they got you back there jesus are you shot Do we kill Leland what because happened? if he knows? Oh, Jesus, oh Lord, Bonnie, what happened? Um. Oh my God, D. Darling, what happened to you? Your face. I'm just not gonna talk. Face, Bonnie. All of my party stories. I think we should have some more party happened? stories between Why you and Brave. You so many stories. Brave, if you're still in chat. Tell me what. His happened. stories should literally be a sitcom or something like that. They, he and his sister, when they were little, almost exploded a penguin. <laughs> so Jelly, if you've got stories, we are happy to hear them here. Those people sound nice, though. They'll kill you. Leland. Leland. That might be the only one I have. Oh, I doubt it. The stories you have, you're probably like, oh, they're nothing. But we would be like, oh, my God. I feel like that about all of my stories. I feel like they're, like, nothing. But then if I tell someone my story, they're like, oh, my God, that's that's fantastic. And I'm just like, really? Oh. <laughs> all right. That did not actually make me feel more sympathetic for Bonnie at all. So I'm okay with that story. All of this sounds like great material for anyone wanting to do stand-up. Yes. Brave has so many stories like that. It's ridiculous. He got kicked out of Disneyland, was it? Um, he went to the Harry Potter Park in Disneyland in California. And Brave, you should tell it, not me. It's not my story. Okay, now we're Russell. 184 days in. Russell's by himself. He's the only one so far. There's a body there. I can look at my own backpack. Okay. I'm practically not allowed back into America. I would be very surprised if you're ever allowed back into SeaWorld or Disneyland. <laughs> the Harry Potter story. The story that you were telling was... So Brave was telling a story on stream a couple weeks ago where... He went to the Harry Potter Park in Universal in California, and um, somebody dressed up as a werewolf, like, jumped up to him and howled at him, and he just, like, panicked and hauled back and, like, attacked the werewolf. And the werewolf had a lot of curse words for him, and he got kicked out of the park. <laughs> that definitely did hey. not happen to me when Good I was enough. in Florida at the Harry Potter Park. Good. Oh! I meant, I meant to find my wands so I could show you guys my wand. If 
from the Harry Potter park. I'll try to remember for next time. I know the last two times I've been saying that I would bring my wand and show you guys, because I was chosen for the wand ceremony. So I will try to remember for next time. That's a natural instinct. The werewolf should have stretched a leg and coughed it up, right? Apparently the werewolf was not very forgiving, right, Brave? <laughs> Oh dear, are we hiding next to a walker that's gonna wake up? Reunited. Who are we reunited with? What? What? Yeah, if I recall, I Brave, you, you said the werewolf was not too fond of you after that. Words he howled a 15 year old should trouble. never hear. Please. You just wanna be left alone with your friend down there? No, just leave me alone. So is this a nice guy? What you do to whatever corpse you find. I wasn't My right eye is still crying, you, you guys. Like, why is this happening? Roughly. So you didn't steal that bag. Oh, the bag says my name on it? Oh, is Russell, like, young? Like a high school kid? From, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang. Don't that tell me you were wearing off. silver rings. Were you? You <laughs> Maybe that's room? what pissed him off. You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? Mine. I didn't steal it. All right, good. I don't like to just get in the car. No, there were no werewolves around when I went to Harry Potter. Come on. I was in Florida, not California, though. Ain't gonna wait forever. There were no werewolves, but I met Stan Shunpike from the night bus, and I met. There was a guy outside the Leaky Cauldron who loved his job. He thought it was fantastic. Another universal story. You and your dad locked Shrek in his hut? What? What? Name's Nate, by the way. Why did you lock Shrek in his hut? You thirsty? Uh Is this guy drinking and driving? I'm straight, thanks. You're not uptight. I think I'm in high school. I'm being a responsible kid. Don't offer me alcohol while you're driving. Good, all right. All right, all right. You want to tell me about where you come from, at least? As you pick your ear gunk out, that's lovely. <laughs> Any tail back where you come from? Maybe drop you off. Do a double back. Okay, this guy seems sketchy. Can we just drive? Can we just drive? We. Oui. You want to sit on my lap? I just don't want to talk. Is this guy really sketchy? You're a tough little nut, Russ. I'm not digging this guy. The cart was just there, too tempting. It was ten minutes before his show. He went red, not green. <laughs> Why did you decide to lock him in? Look, man, I'm sorry. We all got our way of coping with shit, right? He's not moving the steering wheel at all. I'd say he's just drinking, <laughs> right? Ah, whatever. <laughs> I guess. There you go. Relax. We're gonna have some fun. What in the abomination is this story? That's how I feel every time Brave tells a story. I'm always like, wait, please, I need more details. <laughs> I didn't have any family there. We're all my grands down state. There was a dad and a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. The leader was this guy, Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? Don't ask he about the daughter, you creep. Magic number, so you just sound super him. sketchy, Nate. We found survivors. It was the same every time. He... he... Let it out, Paco. Just... We gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? Did he just call me Paco? They're bang! They'd be dead. Anyway, I couldn't handle that. Sounds like something He's people would do on a regular basis in Gotham I City. I can make for grands alone and try to find my family. Out Have you guys watched that show Gotham? Live like that. It's on my list. I haven't watched it yet, but I really want to, and I really hope it's good. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. Stop asking about the daughter, you sick fuck! Tell me something about her. You're sketching me out. Give 
me a little something. Just a taste. I don't care how a rack was. Service here. Why you gotta be like that? Like what? Always talking about women like that. Women? <laughs> okay, well, let, let me see if I can answer your question. Because, because the hunger a man's got for a woman is all we got left now. No laws, no jobs, I nothing I vehemently disagree with everything yeah, this guy yeah, is saying. Women yet. Just so we take a stance on that. Let's try this again. All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near. Invite me for some drinks first if you want to know my stories. Well, you know, it is Wine and Walker Wednesday, so if you've got a drink, cheers! Fuck? Come on, scale of one to ten. What do you think? Ah, slamming before she was rocked, right? What do you think? Here, get a look. What the hell, dude? Why did I take a ride with this guy? Maybe you got high standards. This guy's fucked up. I don't know why I said 10, but it was timed. I don't know what I answered 10 to. Is this the guy in the truck, though? What? Your mother bought you a belt for 20 bucks off of a stall in San Francisco. You were taking a pee and the belt buckle fell in the urinal. Your mother said get it back. It was expensive. <laughs> That sounds like something my mom would say. It's expensive. You can just clean it. Do all these people meet up at this, like, diner gas Let's station look for thing? Some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine. Be mad. I just am mad. You're a sketchy person. fuck. Whoa! Oh, shit. Go! Get out! What's happening now? <laughs> what is going on? Bus! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! The truck that I was just in? You got bullets this time? Don't think about it. Just run. I'll keep his fucking head down. Okay. We'll get to the truck then. I guess. What happened to I'll cover you? Look how good you did. I shouldn't have come with you. Jeez. Oh, looking late now. You need to relax, Russell. Come on, kid. This guy's sketchy as hell. Russell, get your shit together. There is no getting out of this right now, okay? Okay. That doesn't mean you're not okay. sketchy as fuck, bro. First. We're gonna figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. Okay. Down. Okay. See? Easy. Now we know where he Just is. Just as fucking A dad right. came in with his yeah. daughter to some fishing That's in the urinal. Cool. <laughs> I tried to look normal <laughs> that day. <laughs> okay. Neutral. Just keep your head down. Oh, oh. Oh, so we're moving the truck. Okay. Shit! Just keep pushing! I'm trying, I'm trying. My ex's dad was a right piss. Oh. Shit! Push! Push what? End of the road. The truck won't what move now? anymore. We gotta get around the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Okay. Seriously, this time. Stop fucking around. You gonna cover me? Yeah, are you? I feel like that's a legit question. Alright, we're pausing that for a hot second. My ex's dad was a right piss. And he knew... Oops. He knew I earned quite a bit of money at the time, but we never saw eye to eye. For his birthday, he asked for a 300 euro watch. We were in Spain, and those dudes that sell the fake shit, we bought him one of those for five. <laughs> <laughs> and bought a box. Served him right for being so fucking cheeky. He would literally ask for such expensive things for his birthday. I was like, uh-uh, no way. I would have done the same thing. Like, that's, that's a huge gift to ask for. That's crazy. And what was it? It was 300 euro? 
I think that in the US it's what's 300 euro to US dollars. I'm Googling it now. So it would be 355.63. So like $356. That's a, that's a big gift to ask for. Like, I don't even dare ask for something that's over like 10 bucks. Are you kidding me? I can't imagine asking for anything like that. About 370. Okay. I, I'm not good at conversions in my head. Math sucks. You should always read my big essays. They are worth it. You were his sugar mommy. <laughs> Even my boyfriend put a limit of 50 euros. Like, that's insane. And it's his dad. You assume growing up that parents, like, first. make sense. And then you're an adult cover and you realize that half the parents you know first, are freaking fucked up and they're insane and it's ridiculous. I'm you go from like, it's Shoot insane. The and keep that head down I get where like, I don't dare ask anybody for anything. Like, even subscriptions. If you want to subscribe to my channel, I am so happy if you want to do that. But I absolutely do not expect it. Like, I don't know. Whoops. Did I just let him get shot? I did. And myself. Whoops. Remember, don't stop shooting. Fire! Where am I firing? Where am I supposed to be firing? I don't understand. What am I doing? You guys, what am I fucking up so bad? Remember, don't stop shooting. He had his two Fire. sons buy him new sneakers at 200? What? Dude had more money than us. What? If I asked for a 300 plus dollar gift, my friends wouldn't even attend the party. Seriously. Like, my family would laugh Remember, at me. They would be like, really? Shooting. You're funny. Fire. No. I don't know where I'm supposed to be firing. Do you guys know where I'm supposed to be firing? This is the third time that I've died in the same way. I don't know where I'm supposed to be firing. What is happening? Remember, don't stop shooting. Fire. Where is it coming from? Oh, right there? Maybe? We're living All longer. Right, throw me the gun and I'll cover you. Um, I don't want to throw you the gun. You're a sketchy fuck. Go. Greedy fucker is saving for his only fan subscription. <laughs> oh my gosh, have you guys been reading all of the stuff about OnlyFans with Bella Thorne? Like, I don't know that much about OnlyFans, but I've been reading about all that stuff, and it's just, it's been fascinating to me. Wait, where am I running now? Was that a person that just ran by along that fence? What's happening? I don't know if I like this Nate dude, you saved my life. but he did save my life. We got more work to do. I but keep tabs for educational around. reasons, of course. Of course! No shame in OnlyFans at all. Follow me. I just don't know much about it. But Bella Thorne, all of the headlines I've been seeing about yeah, her scamming there. people? A shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, I used to be a sex worker, a very successful one, hence the money. I'm still in the scene as I have friends there. I have no problem with OnlyFans. Like, if that's your thing and you're able to make a living or any money that way, kudos to you. But the Bella Thorne stuff was, she said it was a nude and sent out a bikini shot. Yeah, I read, like, she said that there were nudes and then the things she posted were the same exact things she already had on her Instagram. And it ended up, like, only fans like changed their policy and it ended up making it a lot harder for the other people on only fans to like earn a living which is really unfortunate so i've been following all of that information i see him check through the window see if there's anyone else see if there's anyone else we might have met each other in strip clubs jelly darling are you are you in the us or the uk risky Wait, where am I supposed to go here? I don't know, I don't know. I wasn't listening to what he said. I wasn't listening at all. 
at all, you guys. I wasn't listening. I was an online dominatrix. I don't think I could ever do that. I do not have an iota of any kind of aggression in me. Like, I am so submissive, I feel like. I would not be able to do that. Yes, hi, kitty. <laughs> Hello. Don't get me wrong, I don't pay for OnlyFans. If I wanted to waste money on girls, it would be on Tinder girls. <laughs> Tinder. I've never had Tinder. There are nurturing doms out there too. Really? Whoa, Gramps! I told you not to come back here. Think you could just leave your mask at home? And now you're with this fucking. Do you see my kitty? First off, watch the fucking racism. This is my boy. Secondly, she doesn't want to say hi. We were just passing by like anyone else. Bullshit! You came back to finish us off and take all our I don't want to finish you off, old man. Marbles. You're like a grandpa. And now she can see your face. We've never been here. Sir. If you're into being called a pig and stuff, Tinder girls wife. won't even do What's it for not? money. <laughs> you tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. It was this Please old guy shooting at us? Out of here. Please leave us alone. Hi, pretty say, kitty. You are a pretty girl. Kill these folks and take yes, all their you stuff. Are. She's a pretty girl, but she's the one that brought the mouse into my fucking bed, so. Yeah. Are you serious? Maybe. That's where we're at right now. Why not? That's she's cute, up. but she's kind of an there asshole sometimes. Out there. No <laughs> shit. And you're just gonna joke about the shit I see. Yes, you are. Fuck you, Nate. I saved your ass. You didn't do shit. Easy, Russ. I'm not hurting no one. And don't All right, you so hurt I'm... These people either. Is Russell the last on. one? Can we still be friends? No. How is the Shiloh versus Callie war? She's so cute. And she loves to snuggle. She loves it when I make her into a little burrito. I wrap her up into a blanket. She loves to be like in things. If I throw a blanket over the top of her, she's the happiest she's ever been. If she can go in something, she's so happy. <laughs> Park Indian. 400 days in. Who is this? We were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Well, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? What? I'm not we'll sure. for sure until I find them. Sure, sure. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Indian as in Native American or India the country? I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. Oh my gosh! Brave, I think so. India, the country. In the U.S., you always have to ask, because you never know if somebody is talking about Native Americans or India, the country. Because everyone calls both Indians. I think that woman is from Carver's oh. camp. Carver, Carter, whatever his name was. Everything okay? So far, so good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. We'll she try to talk to him. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many There's only one camp. Indian type here. Okay. That's probably just the U.S. with Native it. Americans versus Indians. Hey, don't you bitch. I think this is Carver's don't camp, isn't it? Move. Who the fuck are you? My name oh, and that was Vince? Avia. How did you find us? And Wyatt? I follow the smoke. Sit-ups or push-ups? <gasps> Throg! For a growing settlement up north. What? We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. Throg, are you threatening right now? Does that mean you have channel points for something? We're you a chance to help us out and start over. I'm suspicious of God, you right now. too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because you have to tell the truth all the time doesn't mean everyone else does. Oh, yeah, there's Shell and her sister and Bonnie. I know that for sure. People can care about you if you let them. Like Leland cared when he let you run off alone. That's enough, <gasps> Becca. Guys, look. Yep, it's all of them. They are all together. Danny. It's that we have to stick together and protect ourselves. What? That guy was an asshole. You should be happy he got killed before Shell and Becca joined us. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, you, d you redeemed Emmy Treats instead. Wait. That was very nice to me, wasn't it? 
I'm not very good at sit-ups or push-ups, if we're being honest. But Emmy likes her treats an awful lot. <laughs> Emmy Lou. Emmy. Do you want a goodie? Come here. Come here. <laughs> she wasn't sure at first what I was talking about. Let me make sure I can get her in the camera. Yes, Emmy, I know, I know. Yes, I know. We got some goodies here. All right, let's get her on the camera. Oh, let's ignore my lovely drinks. Hi, baby. Can you give me a paw? Good job. Can you give me the other paw? Oh, I know there's a kitty in your way. Other paw? Okay, paw. Good job. Good job. Okay, do you want your first one? Good girl. Paw. Good job. Other paw. Other paw. Oh, that's the same one, silly. I know, there's a kitty in your way. Have another one anyway. And the last one. Okay. You can thank Throg for those. Yes, you can. Good girl. Okay, all gone. All gone. <laughs> okay, go back to sleep. <laughs> she says thank you very much. Her expression right now is like, hello. This is her right now, actually. Her head is in my lap, staring at me. I wish I could show you her view, or my view that I have of her right now. I don't have any more here. Okay, we'll give her one more. Go <laughs> Oh dear, the kitty almost got it first. How tragic. Tragic. You were bluffing. When you first did a sit up, you were like a dying seal. <laughs> You could have done the push-ups and sit-ups, but you wanted to see Emmy. I appreciate those priorities. Not just because I'm lazy, but because she's cute as hell. Love Emmy treat time. She's so good. We did have some nice cute kitties going in the background too, didn't we, Emmy? Ooh. Emmy says, eh. Spook is your chonkalit muffin. Did I, were you here when I was talking about how Emmy had her vet appointment and her diagnosis is that she's chubby. <laughs> she needs to lose at least 10 pounds. Yes, Emmy needs to lose a little bit of weight. And I think that she looks good. Like everybody that I know says she looks good, but uh, Apparently she needs to lose a little bit. Princess Plump. Are you Princess Plump, Emmy? Are you a plump little princess? It's funny, because I do always call her a princess. Actually, if you do exclamation point Emmy or exclamation point dog, it will describe to you her mix. And I believe part of it says that she is part princess, because it is indeed fact. <laughs> the first ginger I've seen with a dog and not a cat you watch yourself, Risky. I see you calling me a ginger. <laughs> 30 plus women are scary because we don't take shit from kids. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> I have a 25 year old boyfriend that is gladly not a kid. I feel like that's so true. Like, older women do not take shit. And I feel like that is such a strong asset about them because younger women, sometimes I feel like they get walked all over and they don't know how to stand up for themselves. But as you age, you like learn how to be like, no, I don't deserve this. And it's, it's a really empowering thing. So I think that's cool for older ladies. Do you find a lot? Not as many Does his shirt really say combat clam? Go. 
Eddie what? Might be there. Hi, Exo. Welcome. We need people, plain and simple. There's a saying about not fucking with a 30 plus year old female because she's had enough of all y'all shit. I believe that. Absolutely. Like, I hope that that sense of not wanting to deal with anyone's shit comes to me soon because I care way too much about everything I have no control over. <laughs> So if you could send some of that my way, that would be fantastic. no one left. Roman's not a problem. Following her, that'll get you killed. Look, I know it's a risk, but what else is there? All right, so we got Shell. And so are we. We got all of these people here. We should just walk away. I don't trust you. Well, why not, Russell? If they have food and medicine and and I don't give a shit about anybody toxic, but I've always been that way. See, I've always been the one that's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, you're offended. What can I do to make it better? Like I've been such an anxious like wreck my entire life. It's a little bit ridiculous. I don't understand what the problem is. Are you really considering staying out here? Foraging for food like fucking raccoons? I mean, what do you suggest you that we do, Wyatt? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen We could have killed you, you already. Kill you, you'd be dead already. I had a gun yeah. snuck right up. Think what about that. You? Exactly. I'm Nothing. more of this so you can fuck off Look, type of person. See, I need a little bit of that energy in my life. You don't know me from a I need a lot of that energy in my life. <laughs> there are some crazy fuckers out there. I don't have All any of that. Do is make an offer. You can come with me or you can stay here. So are we the Carver or Carter person and we're asking them all so, to come with us? Who wants to come with me? None of you should come with me because Carter sucks. So Bonnie goes. We know that. Vince isn't gonna go. Yeah, I have to. Wyatt does go. Oh, and Shell goes. Oh, so Becca goes too. So they all do go. I'm, I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. Russell's the only one who doesn't is want it to. Really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. I feel we wrong trying to convince home. people to go because this place was horrible when we were there as it's Clementine. We connect with people the way you used to. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, this seems we awful. It makes me sad that a lot of people, male and female included, need a little please? bit of that. I agree. It makes me sad for myself sometimes, but I know other people who are the same way as me that. We could all yes, use a little a extra plan. assertiveness in our lives. I grew up with a very, very, very strong mother. And I don't believe in blaming the parents, so I'm not trying to blame my mom or anything. You know my mom was a very strong lady. But some of the things that she did definitely Nothing helped to make me the person that I am. And I wish it could have been a little bit different to this day. I was making cookies the other day. And I got so stressed out when I was putting the cookies on the pan to cook because when I was younger, if they were too small or too big or not spaced evenly enough, I would get in so much trouble. And even as an adult, I was like, this is my house. This is my stuff. I'm not going to get in trouble. But for some reason, I was still like, oh my God, I'm stressed out. Somebody's going to yell at me. And it was insane. But... Anyway, <laughs> 400 days. Yes, this is 400 days EXO, which I think that we just finished. Danny or Justin, whose foot, foot did you shoot off? 70% of people shot off Justin's foot. That makes me feel a little bit better because I felt kind of guilty about that. Do we stay in the car or get out? 50% stayed in the car. Half and half. Did you leave Nate or stay with him? 75% left him. Oh, I thought we actually stayed with him. Did, was I just not paying attention? Did we lie to Leland? 25% were honest. Surprising. I thought less would be. Did you leave in the RV or kill Stephanie? 75% left in the RV. Okay, what is this? 
Okay, so three people left with Tavia. Vince and Russell did not go. Vince and Russell stayed at the camp. Goodness. Okay. So we finished 400 days. So I think... Goodness. We're ready next time for... For season three. I didn't know if that was going to be longer or not. But I guess it was not... I thought it was going to go a little bit longer, I'm not going to lie. That wasn't as much as I thought it would be for 400 days. I don't see how that leads into season three at all. Honestly, I don't either. I read, I looked it up on Wikipedia and it said it was like a bridge between two of the seasons. I'm not really seeing the bridge factor. Like, it was still cool to play, but I wanted more backstory from it. Between two and three. Was it two and three, or was it between one and two? Let's look it up. 400 days TWD. Um, it's DLC for season one. So it's between season one and two. Oh, which makes more sense, because it's it kind of sets up some of the people that are at Carver's place, I guess, right? That makes more sense, I guess. Kind of. A little bit, I guess. Alright, well, you know what? Let's finish up today with some Fall Guys. I kind of want to play a little bit of Fall Guys on stream. Although, do I have anything that I need to do that? Maybe. Where's Steam? It makes sense, but it's not much filler. Yeah, it's definitely not much filler. But I think I'm going to be playing Fall Guys tomorrow. Bridge is the soft term for cash grab. Yeah, I don't think one to two needed a bridge. It really didn't because, I mean, they went to the motel. They were at the motel. It kind of worked out. It made sense. There wasn't any, like, question of what happened there. So, yeah. I think I'm going to play Fall Guys tomorrow. So, I did a, a vote of what you guys wanted to see on Twitter. So, most people voted for a Fall Guys stream instead of Green Hell or Alternative. So, I think tomorrow I'm going to play Fall Guys for you guys. I think I'm gonna pass on playing that tonight. Absorb some of 400 days and what happened there. And then we'll play Fall Guys tomorrow. And then I'm thinking about doing a Skyrim or Green Hell stream. I've never played Green Hell before. So I'm really excited to play it. I'm a little bit disappointed that more people didn't vote for it because I really wanna try it. So I really wanna try that at some point. So I think that we're going to try that either later this week or next week. Um, next week, I'm going to try... I'm going to try streaming every day next week. So, feel free to yell at me if I don't do it, because I'm going to try to hold myself accountable for it. Because I really want to do it. So, we shall see. So, Risky, you're in luck. Not a Fall Guys stream today. <laughs> but tomorrow, if you check in, we're probably going to have a Fall Guys stream. Because <laughs> that's what the people want, apparently. It's what they voted for. Um, so today, I think that we're going to raid someone before we end. And honestly, I kind of just want to raid him because of his username. It's Major Tom, and all I can think of in my head right now is that song. Ground control to Major Tom. So that's what we're going to do. But before we go, I just want to thank everybody very, very much for being here and hanging out. Fall Guys is what the people want and not what the people need. I can't disagree with that. It is a really addicting game and it's been fun, but it is everywhere right now. Everywhere. 
Um, so I'm planning on playing some Green Hell and some Skyrim if you guys want to check in in the next couple days or early next week and see what's going on. But if not, that's fine. I'm just very happy to have you here today. I appreciate it very, very much. We're going to go ahead and raid Major Tom because I've got that song stuck in my head now. So let's give him some attention. And thank you very much again for coming here today. I really, really appreciate you. So let's give this guy, I started hating the color pink since Fall Guys blew up. <laughs> Can't blame you. 